Hey guys, it's Charlotte from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thanks so much for coming back and joining me for another video. It has been a hot minute, let me tell you. Sorry I have been MIA. Uh, things just got busy in life and at work and I kind of had to just um, put crafting on the back burner for a bit, but I am back and excited to work on this bee journal and hopefully get this done. So um, I don't really remember, to tell you the truth, where we left off. Um, I did... Um, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Choking on my own saliva. That's not good. Um, I did put um, some liquid pearls gold on um, this cover. And then I also put um, one of these on here because I want to add some lace uh, kind of tassels stuff to this. And so what I did is um, before I bound in the signature, um, I... What did I do? Um, I... So I put, began putting the lace on the spine and I left it open on the inside so that I could put one of these in. And these I got off of Amazon and what are they? I don't even know what they're called, but they're, let me pull one out here. They're like little brads and they have, um, they're not little I guess, they're, they're quite large, but they're, they're a brad. And they have this kind of like little ring on them. And these work perfect for the spines of journals just to kind of put them in there. And then you can hang um, embellishments and stuff off of it. So I just got these off of Amazon. I can't remember how much they were, but these are really great and fun to have. They come in silver, kind of like a coppery bronze, and then a gold. <clears throat> and there's quite a few in here. So yeah, a great purchase for sure from Amazon. So I did that, I put that through, and then I went ahead and secured the rest of the lace down on the inside because I wanted it to cover that brad. And then I also needed to make sure that when I sewed in my signature that I wasn't um, coming out where that brad is, if that makes sense on the spine. So I'm down just a little bit there. Um, so yeah, the signature is all sewn in. Um, now what we need to do is really to work on our decorating. And so we've got to do some pockets and some ephemera and belly bands and all that good stuff. So I suppose I'm not really on camera here. Um, let's go ahead and see what we have in our little bucket here. And um, so these are great. I think with these ones, um, I might want to back them on a little bit stronger of a cardstock, and then we could use them as a side tuck. Um, I think that would be fun. So we have those. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we also have these fun envelopes, these kind of honeycomb envelopes. Um, here's what would be a good journal card. Uh, again, um, what did what kits did I use? I'll have to tr uh, remember to link them down below. But if you've watched the other uh, videos working on this journal, um, I've listed the kits there. Got some tags, more journal cards. Um, this could be a little belly band that we could use. Uh, so we've got lots of stuff here from the kits. Um, tags. Oh, we got some more. This is an envelope. Um, what else do we have? Some more tags and journal cards. Uh, oh, this could be a belly band. Bring that out. So yeah, let's just go ahead and have a play today. And get some pockets and tucks and what have you sorted out in this journal. Okay, so let's see here. Um, I do have these other pages too from the kit and there's some labels uh, these we could use for collaging if we needed it I guess I'm not sure if I'm doing any collaging but yeah there's some again these can be journal cards I'd have to back them onto something a little stiffer mind you but this would be a great belly band too lots of tags I was specifically looking for, gosh, I love these papers. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Got to think of some more things. Like, I think I could do another bee journal with some of this stuff. This is amazing. Okay. I'm getting distracted. I was looking for, I thought I had some 
tiny bee fussy cuts. I have these. No, there were some other ones. Um, okay, there's more pockets. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do a tag ring booklet for this. So that is what I wanted to do with that. Oh, my goodness, we have a lot going on. Lots. Okay, that is a long tag. Oh, this I wanted to do. Oh, gold spatter on this stuff. Okay. So I'm glad I made notes because I really, it's been a while since I've worked on this. So I kind of forgot what I was doing to tell you the truth, but thank goodness for making notes. Um, let's start off simple. Let's start with these pockets and then maybe, I swear I had from the kit, some fussy cut, some bees to fussy cut. And they weren't like they were just regular bees. Maybe I didn't print them out. I thought I did. Okay, well that's fine. Let's um, let's just start simple with some of these uh, already decorated ones. Let's not complicate things too much here. Otherwise, I could be humming and hawing all day about all of this. I feel like. Um, all right. So, where are we at here? I really like that. That says Black Widow. Um, I think maybe. Yeah, we could put a pocket or something on here. This is a little envelope. Do a bit of tuck with that. Um, okay, what do I need? I feel like I need some stuff. Well, I definitely need my glue, so let's pull that out. I'm gonna need glue. So I'm bringing out my glue stick and my art glitter glue. Um, I'm going to need a bone folder and maybe a glue book good or some glue papers from a glue book just pull these up okay I feel like I'm ready I'm just gonna take a sip of tea because I have that tickle in my throat sorry about that oh and I also I stopped off at um, Michael's a little while ago and I got these beautiful trims like I think these are gonna go great um, I don't even remember how much these were but I just thought that they would go perfect with this journal and I love to put some of these on the pages and yeah, so these are really, really yummy. Look at these. We've got some silvers, gold, kind of some black. So yeah, I can't wait to play with that, but I'm getting distracted. So, oh, I do want to bring out some, oops, daisy. Let's bring out a clip just to maybe help hold here. Okay. What do we want? Um, we could do on the inside, we could do one of these kind of, do we have one that's like a library pocket? Do that. Um, what do we think of that? Is my lighting okay? I feel like a little bit of a shadow there. Okay, um, let's see. Do I like that guy there or do I want one of these? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll go with this guy. He's kind of the right size for a library pocket. That would be fun. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So bring out my bone folder. Maybe I'm going to bring out my scoreboard as well. My little one. Just to try and make things a wee bit easier on us. Some fluff going around here. So I hope everyone's doing well. I haven't really said hello. I just kind of jumped into this because I'm excited to be back in the craft room. But I hope you're all doing well and that you're crafting away today as well. And I want to thank my new subscribers so much. Um, I know... Um, it's been a slow go. I've been going up and down in subscribers because, you know, I'm not for everybody. <laughs> I'm an acquired taste. Um, but, you know, I'm really trying to get to that 500 subscriber mark so I can give away that owl journal. I have a special owl journal set aside. Um, and I'll try to remember to link um, the flip through of that journal at the end of this video. 
um, what you want to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and then comment on that owl journal flip through and that'll get you entered um, to for your chance to win that owl journal when I hit 500 subscribers so you know I'm about I think 124 subscribers away so hey if you happen to know anybody who likes this sort of thing hey send my videos their way <laughs> ask them to like and subscribe all right we need some ink and bring out my little inker yeah that definitely needs some inking just using my vintage photo again you're not just limited to vintage photo or walnut stain or that espresso guys use different colors like make your your journals happy and colorful especially if you're doing spring journals there's lots of great um, distress inks and oxides from Tim Holtz that you can use to ink up your edges and and brighten your pages up a little bit they don't always have to be done in these kind of vintagey brown tones so yeah let's put this here I think that'll be good. I don't think we really have to do much for decorating this because it's really, really quite, you know, decorated already. I mean, it has some images of lace. We could always put lace on there, but I think I like it just the way it is. So I'm gonna use art glitter glue. We'll go ahead and, oh, that's been a while. So of course, the art glitter glue is gonna be finicky. Come on. All right, there we go. It's gonna play nice. Well, we're getting some beautiful spring weather. The only problem is, is it makes the temperature in my basement where my um, craft studio is, makes it fluctuate a bit. So of course I've got this big sweater on cause it's chilly down here and I've got my heater on and now I'm starting to have a bit of a hot flash. So I might have to <laughs> start just roping here in a minute um, let's put that maybe down here because then we could either use a like a library card or um, a tall journal take for that that's good do I have that straight yes straight enough but that looks good okay so we've got that done now um, Hmm. Kind of feel like I want this pocket on here. So let's go ahead and do that. And scoreboard. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to whew, take this sweater off. I call it my grandpa sweater because it used to belong to my father-in-law, the kid's grandpa, and. Yeah, I wear it because when I miss him, I just, it's like a hug from him. Okay, I think I'm ready now. All right. So let's put this down here. So yeah, it's been really just, I've been busy with work and lots of stuff going on with the kids. Last weekend, I had like a team event on Friday for work and then my middle child, my my second son, he um, had a jiu-jitsu tournament, so my husband took him to that. I got one more here. And uh, so the other two kids, uh, my oldest son and my daughter, hung out with me, and we just, yeah, we just really um, kind of laid low, got some spring cleaning done, watched some movies, and just hung out, and I didn't step one foot into my craft room, which, you know, I felt guilty about but at the same time it was really nice to just just hang out with with my two kids there all right so we want to glue that let's get rid of this now and put the glue here some here Then we'll fold that over. 
So April already, you guys, my goodness, like, does anybody else feel like the days are just flying by? I just, we're done like the first quarter of the year already. It's just crazy. And then April is my birthday month, so I've got a birthday coming up, and I'm thinking I might do a giveaway for that, of a little traveler's notebook that I have. I thought that might be fun. Hmm. Now, I don't know if I want... I wonder. We could make this a flip out. And you could journal on the side here, or on the back, and then have something tuck in there. Or I could just clip this to a page. I don't think I really want to glue it down, because then you wouldn't really be able to put stuff inside. What do I want to do? I think maybe a flip would be fun. Let's ink this up a bit. That always helps to do as Gail Augustinelli says, ink and think, right? Think about it. Yeah, I think let's do this as a little flippy out thing. That would be fun. And then you can still journal on the back and then have something journaly on the inside. Which means I need to find some washi. So let me just head over to my washi drawer. Let's see what I can find. Mm. I need some colors that work well with this. And that might work. Okay, so I pulled out a few things here. This one is like a fabric. Um, okay, think about that one. This one isn't too bad. We have polka dots or we have kind of like the alphabet. Not really liking that one. I think that one's out. So it's kind of down between these two. What do you guys think? Black polka dots or this kind of fallish one? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with this one. Let's do that. I didn't ink on this side. I need to do that. Because if it's going to be a flippy, you want to make sure this side is inked as well. There we go. It's hockey tournament time for my husband. Poor guy, he's got back to back games this weekend. And tonight we're going to go visit some friends who are in town we haven't seen quite a while, so I'm very excited about that. Their one son got married, and uh, we haven't seen them since all of that happened, so I get filled on, filled in on all the details, right? Um, okay, how am I going to do this? I'll open that up. I think I want that inked as well. Sorry guys, I know inking isn't the most exciting thing to watch, but Kind of what I need to do for this to look right for me. Okay, that looks better. And what do we need here? Out there. And I think I also want to add a little bit of glue. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Put that there. And let's put this on. I just like to use a little extra glue because you never know with this washi tape if it's going to hold or not. 
just don't want to take the chance. Okay. And I'll flip over that down. Where is my clip? Grabbed a clip to hold the pages and I'm not using it. There we go. It's a bit better. And let's put some glue on this washi here. Again, just in case. And we'll glue this guy down. I want that tucked in actually. Okay. I'm always nervous when I stick things down with art glitter glue because there really isn't a lot of room to to wiggle. Okay, that looks good. Just hold that down for a second. Yeah, so this is fun. I'm glad I'm getting back to this. Why aren't you folding very nicely? Um, why did you slide? Don't slide. Oh no, what are you doing? Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. When in doubt, add more glue. Didn't hold it long enough. That's my fault. Completely my fault. Um, yeah, so glad to be working at this again. You have to let me know what you guys are working on for projects. that down um, okay then we have this other one that one maybe we want to put it on the other side here okay let's do that and we'll see how much of this journal we can get decorated today have so many projects that I want to do you guys just so many I kind of want to do a, a garden journal but we'll see I need to take a look at my list and figure out what I've already got printed out and I should probably use what's already printed and I need to make a bunch of ephemera I need we need to start um, working on our idea book again. I've got to add some things to that because I think we've only got about four or five items in there. We definitely need to add to that. All right, I'll glue this down. So yeah, let me know um, in the comments down below what you're working on. What are your projects? Do you have a theme? Are you just doing some kind of random stuff? What's What's on your desk? I'm always interested to know. I love it when you guys say hi. I'm also excited for the upcoming project that I'm doing. I think I've mentioned this before with um, Junk Journal Junction. Angie over there, we're gonna do the five item swap. I'm just waiting for her items to arrive. Mine made it to her, so once I get that package, we can we can take a look at those things and see what we can create. I always like being challenged. It's nice to kind of get out of your comfort zone and have some different supplies to work with that you, you know, maybe not typically would, would use and see what we can create out of them. So that'll be fun. Stay tuned for that. And then I'll be sure to link Angie's channel as well when I do that video. Um, she's got some great ideas too. Again, that's Angie over at Junk Journal Junction. So much fun. Okay, we'll put this guy here. Have him flip out this way. Again, we'll use this. Put it on this side now. And, oops, need to mark where I want to rip it, but there, add a little bit of glue 
just to give it some security. Didn't really, didn't really cut this long enough, make it long enough, but that's okay, we'll work with it. Let's turn it this way. I feel like I'm a little bit all thumbs today. And this back, let's move our clip, and put this guy down. All right. Let's put him about here. That's okay. Might be on a little bit of an angle, but that's just me or what? But that's okay. It seems straight enough on the page when I close it up here. There we go. We can tuck something in there. Okay, so we've got those little pockets. What else do we want to do? I definitely want to save these ones. Well, I guess maybe we could put some of these on there. Um, got these. Let's find a place for these guys. That might be nice. Oh yeah, I did some stenciling just with some what was it? Um, sorry, let me just find the color. That color is Wild Honey. Wild Honey is what I used for that. Seemed appropriate at the time, since it was a bee journal and all. And we will just score these. Yeah, I don't really have too much else to really update you guys on. There was just, just busy, busy, busy. All right, and it's funny, you know, you don't realize how much you miss your crafting time when you don't get it. Oh, what have we got going on? Oh. Yay, I made my move goal. <laughs> okay. I definitely need to start getting outside a bit more and getting a bit more active now that it's nice out. Gotta see if I can get rid of that COVID cushion I seem to have developed. <laughs> Anybody else have that problem? I tell you, I don't, I don't understand. I wasn't eating more. I wasn't eating bad. I just, I don't know. I guess it was just less movement really kind of chunked on the weight for me. But we'll get, we'll get out and moving a bit more, go for walks now that the weather's a bit nicer. I'm always worried because I have such bad knees. I'm worried about slipping on the ice and wrecking my knee again. I don't need that in my life, that's for sure. Okay. Didn't realize I'm actually matching the journal today with my yellow sweater and floral shirt. It's kind of fun. Okay. Let's put this here. Definitely going to need tags. So I'll have to fussy cut out some. Um, I think we have a lot to work with. I'm not sure that that'll have to um, create too many per se. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe just some decorating on them. Because there's definitely a lot to work with with these kits, which is nice. 
suppose I could have put that over a little more, but I kind of like it there. Okay, so and then the other one was, oh, we could do it here. Or we could do it here. Um, I think maybe I want to do it on... So I don't want to cover that up. I want to maybe do a top tuck or something here. I could do something like that as a tuck. Um, okay, well, let's stay focused on what we're trying to do here. Yeah, let's put it on this one. I think that'll be nice. Yep, let's do that. Put these pages down. And glue this on. Yeah, so I was, um, I'm interested actually to know where you guys are all from. Are you living in the States? Are you from Canada? I know I have sent um, recently some stuff to France and Germany from my Etsy. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below, where are you guys tuning in from? I know I have a lot of people from the States, but yeah. So make sure you leave me a comment, let me know. So there we go. We've got those pockets on now. So a little pocket there. A little flip out here. That's fun pocket there. Um, okay. I love how this page turned out. I think that's fun. And up a page. We'll flip out here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and back these, maybe, where was that page? Do that, you still see, still see that there. Okay, well let's back these and then we'll think about them. I might have to, might want to sew around them as well. So this one I definitely want on this, no, I want on page so that it tucks that way, I think, just because of how this is, um, this page kind of looks like it's ripped. So I'd want to do a tuck that way. Okay, let's get these backed. Um, what do we want to back them with? just need to be a little bit stronger so I guess, I guess yeah we could just back them with some book page since I have an overabundance of book page that would work okay so let's use our glue stick for this and get good coverage have to come up with some tags and cards for these then. Alright. Stick this on here. Grab my little scraper tool. Or smoother tool, whatever you want to call it. There we go. That's just to give it a little bit more straight because I just um, printed this out on um, laser laser um, paper. Just it's a little bit thicker than um, copy paper, but not as thick as like a cardstock. All right, scissors. There we go. Just gonna have another sip of tea. Oh, 
Oh, that is good. Okay. So let's cut this out. Yeah, I got to think of think of some more. I have some ideas of of um, ephemera pieces that I want to do for our um, idea journal. Do a little bit of prep for that so that I can get some, some more videos out for you guys. Okay. Try and round those corners a bit. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely more sturdy. Okay. Let's do this for a second. Where do we want? Actually, let's back the other one while we're doing it. Okay. Got some paper. Where was the other one? Oh, this one here. Alright, go back this one, we'll see how much time we have, only about 15 minutes, so we didn't get too, too much today on this video, but let me, let me see if we can get this one sorted. I do want to sew around these, but I'll do that, like I said, off camera. You guys don't need to watch that. And no, I'll just stick this right down, I guess. Okay. We cut this out. I've been watching, um, of course, Gail Agostinelli, and oh my goodness, she is working on that um, tablecloth journal. Oh, that journal cover she did was amazing. I know it's not her usual style, but I just fell in love with it. Just reminded me of like. My grandma, you know, my grandma's tablecloths and her cooking in the kitchen and oh yeah, I just, she did such a beautiful job. I'm always in awe of what people can create, just amazing work. Okay, where's that? I think that's in the paper. Okay, so these are, I feel like I have something sticky on there. Let me grab my blue eraser. Yeah, I got a little bit of sticky there. Yeah, just take that off just so I'm not sticking to it. A little bit more. Must have went rogue with the glue stick there. Okay, so those are good. These I will ink up and sew off camera. And then figure out where we want these to go. That would be a good tuck, hey? Eh? That might go there. And then I guess it could do this one on the back. But no, I need this one this way. No, I had it right the first time. Yeah, this way. Okay, so I think I'll do that for those ones. Um, let's see. So, let's take a look. I had some ideas here of what I wanted to do. This, I said, a tag ring booklet. So I think I'll save that. How much time do we have? Yeah, I have to do a little bit of prep maybe with these. So this is gonna take a bit of time, but this is gonna be like a little ring, ring booklet with this that would be fun so I'm going to hold on to that this one I wanted to put gold splatter on so let's see 
what we can do here. Um, we need a bit of scrap paper just to put down. Um, what do I have? Hmm. Just kind of looking around, guys. Sorry. Um, I guess I could use. One of these envelopes. Just need something just to kind of protect my workspace just a little bit. And I wanted to add gold splatter, and for that I have. Do I have any gold paint? Not here, but I do have. This paper glaze from Picket Fence. Maybe we could play around with that. Let's grab. Um, do I have a fan brush? Hmm. Just trying to find. Oh, this might work. Let's use that. And I'm looking for my three bottle of water, which seems to have, oh, no, nope, that's not it, hmm, my spray bottle of water seems to have gone MIA on me, looking, looking, not seeing it, hmm, well, what could um, okay, well, I have a bottle of water here. Maybe I could make this work. I really don't know where that spray bottle went. That's just frustrating. Well, what do you do? Okay, moving on. Um, so let's... I had my acrylic block. Okay, so I'm going to use some of this. I'm going to take... No, I should have a little spatula knife of some sort. Well, here's a plastic knife. That'll do. Okay, I'm just going to take a wee, wee bit of this with a knife. And I'm going to put it on this little acrylic block. Now, if I had a spray bottle, I would spray a couple shots on there. Sorry guys, I'm just looking around again because I'm really worried that I'm going to make a mess with that water bottle. Shoot. Not seeing it anywhere. And I don't know why. Oh, here, you know what? Let's do this. Okay, I've got a pipette. This will work. I'll just pipe a couple of drops of water. Onto here. Okay, and let's see if this works. Let's put the lid back on so we don't have a mishap because that could very likely happen. And then I'll just use this. I think I need a couple little drops more of water just to make it a bit runny so I can splatter with it. There we go. Okay. There, I think that's a bit better. And then we're just going to move stuff out of the way in case I go crazy. Let's just spatter. Hmm. 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 Getting a little spatter, but not as much as I really wanted. That seems to be a little much, but let's go with it. Won't know unless we try. Okay. That's not going to spatter. Need more water. Well, this is just definitely trial and error, my friends. 
I might have to find my gold paint from my other room there. If this doesn't work. Not working. Oh, there we go. Oh. 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 Okay, I need to be careful because I'm supposed to go out for dinner and I could very well get covered in gold here. Um, let's see. A little bit, not as much as I wanted. Okay. Well, boo. I'm not liking that. Not liking that at all. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely going to have to go with the gold. Paint. I have a little bit here, maybe I can. That's all right. Yeah, I think I'll have to, have to use, ooh, there we go. Okay, this is a little better. Got a little bit of water in there, let's see. Just needed it runnier. Let's try that. Woo! That's lots. Okay. We're just having fun now. Okay, well, we'll let this dry and see what happens. If it doesn't work out, all this fails, I can just print out more. So we'll give that a try. Close this up so it doesn't dry out. And let's see. I do have gold spatter all over now. Um, just use this dry wet wipe. I don't know, that might be a little too runny now. Let's soak up some off of this bee. Kind of like watercolor, right? Where you can soak it up a bit. It's funny, it's kind of murky on top, but then when I dab the, the thing in it, um, it gets all glittery. So hopefully that'll look okay once dried. Definitely shimmery, that's for sure. That's good. Okay. I'm good and sticky now. Let's set that aside to dry. Okay. What else can we accomplish here? Clean this up. Where are we at? Um... take a look at some of our trims. Um, I love this. I think this would be so much fun on a page. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm kind of in love with that. I think that would be fun. So let's, this is kind of all tied together. Get rid of this, don't need that. Um, let's pull this apart. Oh, they double knotted it on me. Okay. I don't want to cut it because I want to keep as much of this trim as possible. Let's find, maybe this will help. Of course my eyesight, I can't see how to untie that knot very well, especially with this shiny, shiny trim. It makes it a little difficult to find where the knot is joining. I think we can get it though. 
there. Perfect. Okay. Let's pull this guy out. Oh, we got a couple of these guys. Excellent. Now I have this big wad of tremble to do it. It's laid over here. Fabric tack, our friend. And I think. Where's the other page of this? I think that's that one. Is it? No. Where is that page? It is here. Hmm. Could do that. Dress up this page a bit. I think I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and do that. Just give this a little trim off here. And measure this boy up. To there. To about there. I always have to remind myself that this fabric tack comes out fast. I cut the hole in the nozzle just a bit too big, so. Of course, it doesn't want to come down. There we go. Oops. Never remember. Okay. You on like that. And now I've got Fabri-Tac on my fingers. I just, ugh, I hate that feeling. <laughs> Let me use my little glue card. There he is. Let's press that down. Cute! Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. And then the matching one would be this guy. Let's so we'll do this on the other side. Yeah, this trim's a lot of fun. I like adding um, different textures and stuff to this. So I think we'll get this glue down and then I think that'll be it for this video because I think we've been here for just about an hour now. How time flies when you're having fun, right? We'll take a look at, oops, shoot, um, what we got done. Okay. it down with our little glue card. Come on. And hopefully we're not gluing any other pages together. Okay. All right. So we got a good start on decorating. Of course we have lots. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. We definitely have a lot more to do, but um, we need to add our trim here. And then I also have these uh, little Tell the Bees metal charms from Craft Consortium. Again, I got these from um, Scrap and Stamp Canada. You can get them from there. Um, I will probably have this little charm hanging off of here with some of the, the um, trims that we have. So we'll have to do that. We have lots more pockets and tags that we have to do, but today we got um, this little library card pocket put in, which is great. We got the trim put on, which I wanna make sure I'm not gluing my pages together. 
so that's good we got that done we've got a little flip pocket here got another little pocket a little angle pocket definitely need to do something with this I'm not sure yet maybe some B stamping I don't know A little flip out or it could be a tuck I'm not sure what we're gonna do there yet oh I'm kind of all over the place aren't I sorry about that okay stay in one spot okay um, okay that's the center of our signature there's our other little slanted pocket there's another little either flip out or we could use it as a tuck there's our little flip out pocket have to find something for that and we should have there's another little flip out stenciling we need to do a tuck there there's our trim and then oh yeah we wanted um, these tucks, I'm going to sew around and ink up, and they're going to go on these pages here. So, excellent. Well, we got a little bit more done. We're, we're slowly chugging along on this one. And, uh, yeah, thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Remember, if you like the video, please remember to hit that thumbs up button. I love it when you leave me a comment. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. Uh, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. And remember, P.S., I love you.